Hey guys, this is Jay here, and I've mixed up a batch already of refractory material, and I'm planning on lining the inside of this grill. This should be exciting. So I got my trowel ready. I'm planning on dropping it down in my mix. One sec, this this is gonna be harder because I already sprayed the trowel. So I'm gonna start lining the inside of my of the grill. Try to get it ready to become a kiln. And as you can see, at least this time, you can see that it bonds really well to the sides of the grill. I'm gonna work this across here. Try to get this lined all the way across. This really, really good here. So, if the camera seems a little shaky, I apologize. It's fun working one handed. Okay, so I'm gonna start working a little bit on the back. I'm trying to make it so this will actually butt up with the refractory coating that I put on the lid. I'm going to try to put it on halfway decently thick. I don't want it too thick or I have problems. And I don't want it too thin where it cracks as it dries. I'm going to have enough material in there that will hold firm. So. Try to get this coated around there. I'm going to have to wipe off the burners on this grill. Although, the way it's going, I might just have to replace them anyway. Eventually, but here we go. This time you at least get to see how I coat it up. This stuff really works well. Now if I just build a furnace out of concrete, I could probably use this and just line it and make sure I go at least a, a few inches thick. I probably won't have a problem with the concrete exploding because this stuff holds the heat back real well. I haven't had any problems so far with it. It's a real good mix. It's the same mix I used last last time. You didn't get, really get to see me apply it, but I'm going to have to... <sighs> Try to get a larger memory card for this camera. That way I can go through a full process of mixing the material and applying the material. But at least this kind of gives you... idea of what I go through on here. Now I'm gonna have to spray this off again. It's bonding real well to the wood. Now all this is is just a little bit of Dawn and a whole bunch of water. And it really it really helps in keeping it from sticking real badly to the trowel. So I'm just working my way up. Try to get this in there real smooth. I really don't want to coat any of the holes in the grill. Underneath here, I'm probably going to just have to get use a wood shim to apply underneath here. But I'll see what I can do with the trowel. But I got plenty of wood shims around here for put in windows and working on doors, so I've kind of grown accustomed to that kind of stuff. Oh, I gotta make sure I don't completely cover up where the grate is gonna be. I'm gonna set the bricks on, 
Now the nice thing about this stuff, when it's halfway decently set up, I can come up with with a sharp tool or anything and just scrape across this edge and I'll take it right take take it right off of this edge up here if I have any excess up there. But it's going along pretty good. I'll still have to clean off the propane burners here. Now I gotta wipe this off right across here. That's where the grate will be, which I'm just using the the grate from the the grill. It's pretty dirty and nasty, so I figure I'll clean it up a little bit before before I start firing bricks on it. But it's going pretty good. I'm gonna see if this thing will set halfway decently on here and I'll see if it'll work as I grab a couple a little bit more and try to apply it to the middle. Now I'm gonna try to close up this opening in the center. I already got one air port in there. Although I probably want to close the one right in here instead. That way, if I want to, I could probably put a blower in here and increase the temperature. Although, I don't know. I'll just wing at it if and if. It seems to be a pain in the buck. I can fill it back in. Insulate right underneath the burner. I'm gonna give these burners a good wipe down once I'm done with this. But I'm just trying to get a little bit enough to wedge underneath here. Actually, I got a couple sticks over here. We'll see how well this works. Uh, no. find a small enough piece to work with. Yeah. Some bark. Will work real well. If it's not rotting. And just work it down in there. I'm gonna have to grab an actual decently solid piece of wood. Ugh. There we go. Some old treated. And I'll smooth it in these little crevices down here. Grab some more with the troll. But I'm just gonna plop this right down in the middle and then work it with the, with the stick. Well, that's how it works. Oops. Didn't mean to drop you guys. There, that should help. So I'm just going to slowly work this underneath. Try to get it where it's compacted down and try not to shake you guys completely off again. This thing just doesn't work too well. Alright, I'm just going to have to resort to holding it a little bit. Right now, I'm just trying to get it where it sticks down. Underneath the burner, I'm probably going to have to put Dawn water on this stick. Try to get this so it stays. It's kind of windy today. Ah! And I drop it right in the... 
right in the grill. I'm gonna have to wash it off or wipe it off. That's better terminology. That way I don't destroy the camera. But sorry about that. Got focused on what I was doing and had you guys out in La La Land. So here we go. Grab a little more. Nice big chunk. I'm gonna just drop it in the middle and try to work it underneath. Try to get it underneath in that corner. Get it. At least the underside part, I don't have to worry about it being too smooth. Doesn't have to look too pretty, it just has to work. But here we go. See, it's kind of filling in pretty good. Try not to keep my hand on the actual spe speaker on here. It also works as a microphone. So, just gonna fill in this hole. This one I'll fill in, the other one I'll leave open. Try to get this nice and smooth in there. <clears throat> now I should have a whole bunch extra for making some more bricks.